Hi Flosstube, it's me, Gleeza from Made with Glee. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and uh, hello to anyone who's visiting me for the first time. Um, I'm gonna talk about my cross stitch and what other crafts and I've been up to and what I haven't been up to pretty much. So if you're into that stuff, stick around. Um, I'm sorry in my last video I ended so awkwardly the doorbell rang and um, I don't edit so it's a one take situation for me so I just had to stop it and I put it up because I wasn't going to do that whole thing over. Um, I was in the process of telling you guys about uh, moon mythology because um, it was what, a super blood moon on the at the end of January. Um, Anyhow, yes, uh, there's a lot of great stories out there about the moon and the origins of the moon and things you can see in the moon. So if you're in interested in mythology in general, um, you know, definitely check it out. Uh, one of my favorite things is I always thought everyone saw the same man in the moon. I didn't know that there were different men in the moon. People also see handprints in the moon. Um, there's a rabbit in the moon. And recently, I start seeing two faces in the moon. So, hey, what is that thing called? Parad paradophilia? When you see faces in clouds or images in cloud because the human brain is triggered to recognize um, images that we're accustomed to. You know, like how people see Jesus on toast or, you know, um, private parts or eyeballs and fences and the wood knots, things like that. Anyhow, so that was where I was getting to before I was interrupted. So that was uh, the conclusion of my last video. Now for this video, first of all, again, uh, thank you guys who are returning to watch me. I thank you so much for subscribing, liking, and taking the time out to comment on my videos. Um, and to anyone who's new, welcome. I hope you stick around. I hope you like what you see. Um, if you don't, oh well, there's tons of floss tubers. I hope someone else out there appeals to you, you know, what they stitch in their taste and what they talk about. Um, so, uh, why am I back? Uh, <laughs> I really don't have much to show you because I have been, like, uh, life has been tough. January um, was okay. I had my birthday. The end of January, January 31st, is like the anniversary of my grandma's death. Um, and that always is a tough time for me, the week before, the week after. Um, February, Valentine's Day, um, that horrible, horrible tragedy that happened um, at Parkland uh, High School here in Florida. Um, it's about 25 minutes away from me, um, and north, um, it hit very close to home. I mean, my kids are out of high school, but of course they know people who go to that high school and, you know, it, it's Broward County, I don't know how many people live here, a million or so, I'm not sure, but even so, it still has a small community feel when you get around to the school you, you'll you end up seeing the same people in the grocery store and you know and if you go to civic events and things like that you end up knowing who your who the people in your community are and um that that incident really really um affected me in a negative way um and uh just things just life in general things happen um you know, when, what's the saying, when one thing goes wrong, it, you know, you'll have like two or three happen to at the same time. So like, yeah, everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong. However, I'm completely over that. Um, new month, new beginnings. That's what March, April, spring is for, new beginnings. Um, and I'm ready for it. So I hope you are too. I know a lot of people have been having rough times, going through their own personal crap. Chin up, people. Um... Believe in yourself, believe in what you are and who you are and who you can be and you can achieve anything and I know it's easier said than done, but yeah, you have to overcome any obstacle that comes in your path and you can do it. That's it. I mean, it may be tough and you know, you may not see it, the light at the end of the tunnel, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You will get through whatever it is that's in your way you will persevere and you will accomplish and get through it. 
that's it and that's all that's that's life we have just have to get through it day by day so six so oh, five minutes six minutes into this video i need to get going because i don't like to chat um in my last video i did offer up to you guys uh two kits no one was interested in the poor little stitching angel so I'm going to offer her back up in this video, but we'll talk about this in a little bit. Um, but I had six people show interest in this Jim Shore, um, what is she, the Winter Angel? And um, Michelle Bendy, I, Bendy Stitchy Michelle Garrett. I know I said that I was going to send you out something, but you had... Um, put yourself on my list as a possible and I'm like oh you know what what if she wins and then I have to pay shipping twice so I held back sending that thing I said I was gonna send you um, just in case you win this one I'll send I'll combine the package and if you don't now it'll go out to whoever wins and um, you I'll send out your package this week for sure okay um, I'm gonna do a random number generator minimum number is one and we had six people who entered and the random number is six and no way just so you guys can see number six bendy stitchy michelle garrett so I am saving postage. The universe works in mysterious ways. Um, number six, Michelle Bendy. Girl, the universe just knew I shouldn't have mailed you that thing I was going to mail you. I should have waited. And now I'm going to put this into that package and I'm going to send it out to you. So congrats, Michelle. Um, everyone else, I'm sorry you didn't get in on the winter angel but but because you guys are so great and you come back and watch me um i have more i told you i have lots of stash and i'm just gonna keep passing it forward and i have stash so many doubles i i, I I'm, was i seen i am i on menopause like why am i buying the same thing over and over no some of it is like you know you see it on clarence and you're like oh pick it up maybe one of my nieces will want to stitch it yeah right um so this time i have and again these are for uh, my subscribers you obviously have to be subscribed you obviously have to be watching me to know about this stuff don't mention that g word uh i'm gonna put back up we have the stitching angel um this is actually a joan elliott design so Joan Elliott fans, I mean, I I liked her because she's adorable and I think I was going to make her brown and like, I think Mini Gray, Mini Gray did this and I think she did make her brown. So I thought about this, but I have another one. So there's that. I also have another wedding sampler. This one is called Married This Day and I, I'm offering this up because springtime lots of weddings are going to be coming up between spring and summer Maybe you know someone who's getting married. Maybe you want to do it for yourself for your anniversary. I I think this is beautiful um, so this is a Designs for the needle by Janlin And then lastly I have a Bucilla and this is Paul to Corinthians. And I am not a religious person at all, at all, but I do appreciate um, religious poetry. There's some beautiful poetry in, his, in the Quran and in Hindu, uh, the Ramayan, and of course in the Bible, uh, beautiful proverbs and words are words, you know, you could it doesn't matter what religion they can express pretty great sentiments and of course you all if you're religious you know paul to corinthians if you're not i'm going to read it to you it's love is patient love is kind love is not jealous or boastful it's not arrogant or rude love does not insist on its own way nor uh, is it 
irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoice at right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. So, um, yeah, that one is up too. So you have these three. Just uh, let me know which one you prefer. And if you want all three, you know, you could say put me in for all three. If you only want one, just say which one. And what I would like to know is, I'm going to go back to Moon Mythology. What's your favorite story about the moon? What mythology? Is, and of course, it doesn't matter what religion, you know, or um, whatever. Just what moon mythology stuff do you like? Um, tell me your favorite story or moon origin or something about the moon. Moon related and which one you'd like. Okay. So, we're 10 minutes into the video, got rid of all of that stuff. What have I been up to? Not a whole lot. Um, I've been down in the dumps, pretty much. Um, which means I was all over the place. I was in the garden. I did absolutely nothing. I read books. I stitched a little bit. I started a bunch of stuff and left it alone. I painted a little bit and I left it alone. I sewed a little bit and I left it alone. I did accomplish some things, which I'm going to show you with sewing later, but let's get into cross stitch because this is a floss tube. So, um, for Valentine's Day, I had this done and I'm going to pull this back. This is uh, from Just Cross Stitch Magazine, the, the monthly bunnies that they have. So I made this and finished it on Valentine's Day, but then that massacre happened and my mood changed and, well, it's, I didn't even put it out to be displayed in my living room. I just left it. So that was that. Um, what I'm going to be doing after I show you guys this is I'm going to be taking off this red heart stuff, take the glass out. And I'm going to switch it, and I just stuck it on the back so you could see the idea. This is March, so of course the red stuff isn't going to be showing. This is going to be on the other side. And I don't think I'm even going to put the glass back in. Um, scrapbook paper, the little March bunny. Um, that's it, the little stand thing I got from Michael's. I don't know when and how much I paid, but I'm pretty sure if it wasn't on clearance or on sale, I used a 40% off coupon. I'm pretty sure, but so this is what I've accomplished since you last saw me. So this was February bunnies and this is March. Um, April is a work in progress, which I haven't put any stitches in at all as of yet. And the other thing that I do with the with the bottles and the spring is also going to be a work in progress. Hopefully I can be done before the, uh, the 21st of this month. The next project that I worked on, and this is baby sports birth record for my nephew. And I'm still not done, people. I'm still not done. But the borders are done. We have the baseball. All of this stuff is completed. All of this is completed. Star. We have one star left to fill. There's some shading that goes underneath this flag and below the stars. I have to finish in this border on the bottom. And then I have to backstitch this whole thing. So I don't know when I'll be done. But I better hurry up and do it because guess what? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be an auntie again. I'm quite happy about it, um, but that means another baby birth record is in my near future. And as soon as I finish this one, I have to start on the other one because that one is due October, November of this year. So, happy, happy, joy, joy, my family's getting bigger, but auntie gets more work. So, baby birth record i seriously hope on my next video i'm showing you a completed baby birth record i mean i really i really hope so uh the next project that i worked on since i last saw you 
and I am still not done. This is last year, 2017. It should have been done. It's not happily ever after sale by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Oh, wait, let me move my needle minder. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay. This is my happily ever after sale. I started on the second to last pattern, and that is where I'm at. So King Arthur is done, and I shall continue whenever I can. But uh, that is my Frosted Pumpkin Happily Ever After Sal. I'm so disappointed I didn't finish this one like I did the other one last year in January. But it wasn't, it's the, well, just the life, whatever. Whatever. It happens. My next project that I worked on a little bit was... To everything's a season, which is my oldest, the lost and found, um, stamped cross stitch kit. I hope to finish this by the twenty first of March. Uh, we shall see. I haven't been stitching much at all this month. A couple of stitches here and there. So, yeah. Is it going to be done by March twenty first? I don't know. But uh, this is another one that I hope to finish before or when you see me next. What else have I worked on cross stitch related? Uh, bear with me. Okay, this is actually sewing related. I made a lot of project bags for myself. Actually, I made project bags. Well, you call them project bags. Zipper pouches for... My aunt, who had a birthday, I made her two sizes. My neighbor also had a birthday. I made her two different sizes. You know, like, you can fit a laptop. Some of them you could use for makeup. You can use them for, you know, shoes. Different, whatever, whatever. Travel bags. Zipper pouches. So I made this one. This Ooh, this is Westeros. And it's Game of Thrones for my Game of Thrones projects, which I didn't work on. I made this one, which is all card fabric for the Mirabilia, um, the, the, those cards, the queens, um, which is not started. It's kitted up and ready to go. This is fabric that my husband brought from Australia. I made it for, um, where did I put it in here? I think this is the kit, yes, the kit that he brought me back, um, the Lenart Asian couple. And I have to tell you something about this, you guys. My husband never talks about my cross stitch or like, oh, what are you doing or when are you done or whatever. Um, I was looking at stuff online or something, I don't know. And I, sh I think I showed him a pattern and said, oh, do you like this? And he's like, yeah, I like it. But I also like the one I bought you. So you know what that means, right? That means I have to finish this thing before I start spending more money again on cross stitch or ask him because, oh, I know what it was. Um, I have the Chatelaine Taj Mahal. No, not Taj. What am I calling? Not Taj Mahal. Chatelaine, the one that um, a stitch too far. Oh. What is it called? Rajasthan, Rajasthan Temple. So I have that. I bought that, but of course now I want all the the materials from European cross stitch, and it's I think it's like a hundred and ten dollars for the fabrics and all the silks and all that stuff. So yeah, that was what I was showing him because our anniversary is in April, and I was trying to suggest that he buy me um, the material pack for that Rajasthan Chatelaine for our anniversary and I don't think it's gonna happen because he's like yeah what happened to that I liked I really like the one that I bought you so that means like you know he's basically saying I bought you one already and you haven't finished it why should I buy you another one so I'm going to work on this after those two guys are finished and I feel like I, I really need to get this I have to make some progress on it. Maybe I can be done for Christmas and maybe he'll buy me my Chatelaine for Christmas. We don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's something I'm going to work on. 
Um, so yeah, that was another bag I made. Um, the other bags I have are all old, um, with just other projects. Anyway, uh, Sal's, I still have not started any stitch alongs for 2018. I still have my Connie G to fix and to frame. I have one little section and I forgot to bring that one over. Um, the rainbow cell. So that you should also be seeing as a finish in my next video, hopefully, if all goes well. And, um, oh yeah, for cells for 2018, the only one I'm really considering because I really like how it's turning out, how it's looking is the Linen and Threads uh, Mythical Menagerie, is that what it's called? Mythological or Mythical Menagerie by Linen and Threads. That is, that's right up my alley. I really like it. I like it in a solid color. Um, am I going to start it? I don't know. I have so much other things to do. Um, so yeah. So other than making bags, those two couple things I showed you. The only other stitching that I did a little bit on was the Indian Lady in Sari. And I think I worked on it the same day after I made that video and then I put it away and I haven't picked it up since. So this is Indian Lady in Orange Sari and this is what I have on her. That's her face. So I haven't touched her I think since January. She was the end. The last thing I worked on in January was this, this gal and so that's Indian Lady with Sari. Oh, and Sari, sorry. So, so, yeah. That, people, is all the cross stitch I have worked on. I have not done a lot. I've been slacking. I've been in the garden. I've been meditating. I've been trying to get back into the right mindset that I need to be. The one... Oh, there's one more. I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on. I did this little tiny thing. Hold on. This is from one of those magazines. I don't know which one. The fr that comes with the free kits and the cards, the British things. So I like this little foxy guy. I put him on the card like they suggested. So yeah, that's it. That is all the cross stitch I've worked on. Absolutely it. Not a lot. Not a lot to show guys, not a lot to show. Um, what else have I done? I'm going to get into sewing. So if, if, if you're not interested in seeing this, bye. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to leave a comment if you're interested in the stuff. If not, um, I'm going to talk about what else I was doing, which was sewing and quilting. So I know the quilting bug is going around. I see Bonifiper taking classes. Priscilla and Chelsea are making theirs. Um, yeah, I don't know who else is into quilting right now, but I guess the quilting bug has bitten. So I quilted a lot last year. And what I did was, well, was it, or maybe even was a year before. I, I, I've told you I've made several quilts before. Twin size being the biggest, nieces and nephews have. All of my aunts have quilts I made with my grandma dresses. Um, so I finally started working on quilts myself. Um, I took a craftsy class, which I highly recommend, um, Thimble Blossoms, Camille something, from the Bonnie and Camille line from Moda. It's a mom and daughter. They do designs and they also design fabrics. Um, check them out. I'm sure they're on YouTube. And But she has a, a craft, a craft, a quilting class on Craftsy that I took and this was the first quilt I made from that one and this is called the hashtag quilt now all of my quilts turn out to be the size that they say but when I put them on my bed there's no overhang so I had wanted to get all these quilts professionally um, quilted but then it just never happened because I guess I rather spend my money on stash and more fabric and more stuff instead of finishing so they never got finished um, and this year I decided that I'm going to finish them myself because again I took another craftsy class about machine quilting 
So I am learning how to do the, what is that called? Free motion quilt, quilting. But I'm also doing basic, like, be, being that I'm trying to sew queen size quilts on a regular size sewing machine and not a long arm. Um, it's a challenge, but I'm going to do it. So I did one, and I'll show you that one in a minute, but I'm going to show you the pe the the quilt tops that I finished that I'm now in the process of making bigger by adding borders all around so that they can be queen size quilt tops with overhang. And I, I did mention to you guys when you wash your quilts, they do shrink a little bit. So this first one, so this is, was, is the hashtag quilt. Um, yeah, that's the best I can do for showing it to you guys. This was, this is made with jelly rolls with strips. So if you're interested in doing, and you're buying those pre-cut pieces, the hashtag quilt is very easy to pick it, uh, to put together. And um, I would definitely recommend trying this one out. The next quilt that I made, also from Camille's Thimble Blossom, and this is what is called, I guess, a log cabin quilt, a variation of a log cabin quilt. And she calls this one Room and Board. That's the name of her pattern. Hold on. And this line of fabric, okay. this fabric I got from Walmart is a jelly roll. Um, was it a jelly roll? I don't know. There's a little section at Walmart where they sometimes have quilting fabrics. Was it a stacks? Super stacks? Something? It was one. These this set of fabric is from Walmart, with some like the green stuff being fat quarters in my own stash that I added in. But this this is like a coordinated Walmart stash. This line of fabric is a Bonnie and Camille line. I forgot the name of it. Miss Lucy? I don't know, but here it is. It's a version of a log cabin. And can you see it? I'm going to try to turn it so you can see it in different ways. It's huge. Again, these are all queen size. <coughs> and what I'm doing is I'm going to be putting a border on this one of this gray fabric all the way around to make it big enough to have an overhang. If you were to put this on a queen size bed right now, it would cover the top of your bed completely. It just would not have any overhang. And then when you actually quilt this with the bottom layer, it's going to shrink. And then when you wash it, it shrinks even further. So I need to have at least, I, I think it's eight to 10 inches all the way around. So that when it washes, it will still be usable on the bed. So that's, that's my room and board. And lastly, and this is the one I actually finished. So bear with me. Ugh. Okay. This is another set of fabric I got from Walmart. And this is what I mean about adding a border. So the quilt top ends here. And this one is a nine patch quilt. Um, so it ends here. I added this extra two strips to, so pretty much this stays on the top of the bed and this overhangs on the side or covers the pillow, however you want to look at it. So let's go up close. Okay, this one I actually quilted. I don't know if you can see. Zigzags. Stitch in the ditch. Um, I am not perfect. I don't care to be perfect. It's the best I can do. Given the fact that I did this on my sewing machine, I am very happy and very proud of it. Again, it's a queen size, and I'm going to try to step back and pull it out as big as I can for you. This is 
my nine patch quilt completely finished. I love it. It's heavy, it's soft, it's warm, it's really great cottony fabrics. And um, I think the colors are great for spring. So this will be on my bed for spring. Um, hold on. Okay. Whew, sorry. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm hot and I'm tired. I think we're also working out a lot. Um, I bought a total body gym. You know, Chuck Norris, Christy Brinkley. And um, I've been doing the 14 day challenge. I'm on day four. I'm telling you guys this because I'm gonna hold myself accountable. Um, I'm not gonna get into weight and all that stuff, but I do feel stronger. I do feel a little bit fitter. Um, and it's only been four days and my goal is to get rid of this. I have this that just jiggles a little bit too much. And of course, I got that mommy belly that I need to get rid of that. My kids are old. I I have no excuse for having a mommy belly. So mommy belly has to go. Um, so I'm holding myself accountable by telling you guys that I am working out. And <laughs> <coughs> hopefully a year from now I can look back at this video and be like, see, I kept up with that. So, um, yeah, quilting, that's what I was up to. Um, I do have a few more things left, like for example, not all of these do I have enough fabric to make matching pillowcases, but for this one, this nine patch, I do have enough. So I went ahead and I made, this is gonna be like the center panel of a pillowcase. And I don't even know what I did here not a nine patch I don't know I just kind of like pieced together whatever scraps I had to make two center pieces and then I'm gonna use the same green and yellow that's in the border to be the, the what's that called the flange around this and a solid white for the back of the pillow and I have one more that's going to be like a throw pillow, toss pillow on the bed. So, sewing is what I've been doing. Um, it does take up a lot of time. As you can see, my little craft room is very well jam-packed full of stuff. So I don't have a lot of place to do like actual cutting of fabric. So I do that in my guest room on my guest bed. And if of course if I have guests coming or anything like that um, all that stuff has to get like put away in a hurry so that tends to be a lot of the reason why I don't get sewing accomplished because when I I'm a very visual person when I sew and I'm working on a project I like to see everything I like to see all my choices I like to have it all spread out in front of me so I know okay this is like I'm gonna do this whatever so um, that held me back from finishing these quilts, but I am so glad that I actually finished one this year. I am, it's going on my bed within the next week. Well, I'm going to do spring cleaning. It's March. I do spring cleaning every, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I do. I am one of those crazy people that vacuums every surface and wipes the walls and throws arm and hammer on the bed and vacuums the bed and... I mean, my husband doesn't like it. My kids doesn't like. Nobody in my house appreciates or likes what I do during spring cleaning. But I do, and I'm quite happy with my house when it's done. And they will be too, because they'll be living in a lot cleaner environment. But, um, yeah, no one likes the process of it. But that's what we're going to be doing within the next two weeks is a lot of spring cleaning. Hopefully I'll have some time to stitch after my spring cleaning. Um, yeah, so that's it. Now, um, besides, what else? So, floss do watching. I am horrible at leaving comments. I've been trying to watch you guys. Uh, again, time wasn't there. 
the mood wasn't there, different things. Um, but I'm going to just mention a few people whose videos I've watched and I probably haven't commented. And I just want to let them know that I do watch them. Um, Stitchy Shannon, I shouted you out on one of my last videos. It's, her channel is Stitchy Shannon 85 Go check her out. Um, there's a new floss duo, well, newer, Long Dog, D-A-W-G, Long Dog Stitcher, awesome, um, love her, Sh definitely check her out, hello, hair apparent, the girl, the girl's amazing, anyway, check out, uh, Long Dog Stitcher, um, also there is Backward Stitcher, um, Stitchy May, Crafty Magpie, uh, cowgirl Kate Plenty, um, your samplers, girl, you just, mm. um, and I recently saw, I think was it yesterday or the day before, I saw Jessie Marie does stuff is back, it's a three hour video, that's gonna take me like all week to watch, really, it will, because I'll probably watch it like in 20 minute intervals, Michelle, Stitchy, Bendy, Michelle, I am so sorry girl, I don't get to watch all your videos again. I watch you. Maybe I'll watch 20. I've noticed I'm watching like the first 20 minutes of videos and then I have to stop. And then when I come back, you're not coming up as the next person to watch. And then I'll get, end up watching something else before I go back. Um, Sarah Little Snips, I hope you're having a wonderful or you had a wonderful vacation. Um, what's her name? Oh my gosh. Oi. Oh, I am I suck. Kate's Crafty Corner? Kay's Cross Stitch. I don't know. All these are people I watch. Of course, Pam and Steph. Um Pamela Peden. Isn't she the bookworm? I don't know. I am like horrible here. Um Rose City Stitcher. Uh uh. uh. Yo, don't, co don't come to me for who to watch on Flosstube or what to keep up with because I am obviously lost and way behind on everything and everyone. I will watch your videos, Lady Bird Stitcher. I know there's so many people I watch. Oy. Tash, Starcross Stitcher, Stitching Jewels. Stitching Jewels were her t-shirts. Look at mine. It says love and it has the stitchy thing. Needle and thread. I got this at Joanne's, like on Clarence. Um, she always wears the t-shirts. They're really cool. Oh, there's so many people I love watching. Anyhow, um, I think this is it. 37 minutes? Yep, that's more than enough of me rambling. Um, I don't know when I'll see you. Um, hopefully sometime in April. My anniversary is in April. I may be going somewhere, I may be not. I don't know, we haven't decided yet. Um, so when I make a video will be completely up to what I have accomplished because again, I'm not gonna come to you guys with nothing to show you. I have absolutely nothing to talk about. You're not interested in my life, I'm, you know, I'm boring. Um, so, yeah, when I have a finish, because I will finish one of these things, definitely baby birth record has to be done, simply because I have to start another one. Um, my Everything's a Season, which my goal was to finish it before the spring. We shall see. I also have to work on my April bunny, my spring for the vase, and then all my other projects. So, um, yeah, I'll see you when I see you sometime in April. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know which of those three kits you may be interested in. Uh, and with your favorite moon mythology, um, you can let me know what, what story you like about the moon. And um, I hope everyone has a really good stitchy rest of the month, week, day. Um, also, if, if you're going through rough times and whatever, emotional, anything negative right now, again, I know it's easier said than done because 
it happens to me. I have to convince myself also. Um, but you can get through it. You will, and you can get through it. Um, just keep going. Just keep going. Fake it till you make it if you have to, but just keep going. It gets better. It really does. Um, yeah, so that's it. Have a good one, Flosstube. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Come on, get me the 500. I don't know. You guys don't like me or what? Why am I stuck at 479? I have no idea. But let's get to 500. Um, and then I'll, maybe I'll give away one of my project bags or something like that for, you know, something that I actually made for you guys for 500. Because right now I'm just passing stash. So um, get me to 500 and I will see you sometime in April. Thanks for watching. Bye.